Welcome to the Praetorian Guard demonstration part 8. Praetorian Guard is a Microsoft based network management, network monitoring, and employee monitoring system. In this edition, we'll cover the System Administration Console. The System Administration Console allows the user to administer the monitoring and management of the Praetorian Guard system. The three main areas of the System Administration Console are the licensing, the system wizards, and the system maintenance. Licensing, we'll click on first, allows you to subscribe <clears throat> to the product, your company name, as well as the product subscription, the quantities of Centurions, and the features you wish, wish to um, utilize on the given PCs. So for instance, here we have 12 licenses of all the features, excluding SQL, and two Tribune licenses. So the product comes with initially one prefect, one tribune. You can license additional tribunes. For every centurion, you must have one centurion license. The features are based on the count of what you're using on each PC. Then you install your licenses and assign them to different centurions. If a license for a feature hasn't been assigned to a given centurion, then that centurion will not perform those functions. For instance, if I don't have the user auditing checked here for the terminal server, then user auditing desktop shots will not take place. Key logging, nothing of the user auditing console will be available. In addition, you can view all the credit card charges that have occurred for your product to date. System wizards allows you to see a wizard that walks you through how to set up the system one at a time. We'll click on the system configuration screen which is the main configuration area of the product. To begin with you can configure system alerts. This allows you to see alerts based on um, centurions that have problems or the prefect or tribunes. These can be configured and viewable and you can also set up email alerting to alert you if there's a problem. Under service configuration is where you actually manage all of your services. Service installation allows you to install the Praetorian Tribunes or Centurions on machines across your network. The Manage Prefix service allows you to actually manage the details of the Prefix server. Tribune services allow you to, allows you to manage all of your Tribunes and their settings. And then Manage Centurion services allows you to manage the details of each Centurion. Service administration allows you to easily reboot all of the services for Praetorian Guard on any of the machines that you choose. So for instance, I could choose these three machines and restart the services that deal with Praetorian Guard on those machines. Manage monitoring settings is where you actually set up the monitoring settings that the Centurions will utilize. For instance, we have settings set up on the prefect level only. And within here, we've assigned all the settings that we'd like to use for user auditing, inventory, software and hardware, operating inventory, and event log settings. In our example here, in our test database, all of our settings are coming from this one location. The product supports doing monitoring settings at all the way down to the most granular level of each individual centurion. So for example, you could set up the system so that you can have desktop monitoring occurring every minute on one person's desktop but you could have everyone else running at every three minute increment so depending on your needs you can go from the highest level to the most granular in addition you can set up monitoring settings by the service structure by the organizational structure of your company and by computer groups this is nice if you wish to set up event log monitoring to be different for servers than for PCs Next is our organization structure. Here you manage your organization. The two areas you have is the companies. You create as many companies as you'd like within Praetorian Guard. And then within each company, you set up the organizational structure. Within this screen, and you lay, once you lay out your organizational structure, here we have East Division, West Division, and the World Headquarters. And then we have departments of each administration, executive management, IT, treasury, etc. You can also expand these. You can show the users 
everyone that's a member of what department. I can show the computers where they're stored. For instance, they're all in the IT department. And I can also move units between companies. So if you have multiple companies, you can actually drag and drop units between companies easily. This allows you to manage multiple companies within the database. Praetorian Guard supports either workgroup or domains. Domains are easier and basically you, once in a domain you tie all your users to domain users within the system. You can set up user groups which can use, be used for security or access or reporting. Only users can be a member of a user group. And then within the system you can set up roles and tasks for security of each of the consoles. So for instance here we see the system administration console role which is in the system by default has access to all of the areas of the system. Next we have manage computer groups. Here you can set up computer groups to help you manage your network more efficiently. Here we have PCs and under PCs we have operating system types. These could very well be the um, computer types. Whatever you would like to use to manage your network that's the point of computer groups and you can organize it as small or as complex as you need. Next is data health and retention. These three areas allow you to manage your database and see how your record um, quantity is and the size of your database and decide um, how much data you'd like to retain and for how long. The data health screen allows you to view those details such as the number of rows, the amount of the size of the data for er each area of the product, user auditing, operating inventory, performance inventory, event log data, and system alert data. Next you have the data retention. Here you can choose how much data you would like to retain. You can choose by days how much you would like to save of system administrative data, user auditing data, network administration data, and job history. And finally, finally is data protection. This area allows you to choose data that you wish to protect. So for instance if you wish to protect data for any given area you can choose any of these to look at the items that you'd like to protect. But you can say, for instance, that on the servers you want to keep all exchange data. You want to protect all the data for that server. So by simply doing this checkbox, every server that's added under the exchange servers will now be protected from the data retention process. This allows you to set up more advanced data retention in areas such as um, Sarbanes-Oxley or HIPAA where you may have to retain data longer than you would for some servers and etc than you would for PCs and things of that sort. In addition under the uh, data protection you can also run the process manually or on a scheduled basis. Moving back up to the top here, it's essential to understand within the product that we've built Praetorian Guard to be as granular and scalable as possible from the smallest organization to the largest. So whether you're a huge organization that has a great organizational structure with deep tree branches that you can simply set up the management of the organizational tree and allow the security to be configured such that you can have the supervisor of the world headquarters actually have access to the users underneath him. So basically you can build a reporting tree structure that allows you to control which users can see um, which users underneath them for desktop auditing um, as well as granting privileges so that certain users can only um, review inventory details for certain computers. So that security is completely enabled within the product and allows you to restrict who has access to see and do what within the system. That's the end of the Praetorian Guard demonstration part 8 of the System Administration Console. If you have any further questions please visit www.praetorianguard.net